गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल यू आर फाइन एंड स्टडिंग वेल आई एम समीर योर इंग्लिश टीचर एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू इंग्लिश स्टैंडर्ड सेवन टेक्सट बुक हनी कॉम चैप्टर नंबर टू अ गिफ्ट ऑफ चप्पल सो बिफोर यू रिट Bridu is a young girl growing up in Madras now called Chennai with Tapi Tapi her grandmother and Tatha her grandfather basically basically in Madras south indian grandmother called Tapi and grandfather called Tatha one afternoon Tapi takes her to her aunt rukmani house to meet her cousin lali ravi and meena this is a very interesting story about mischievous and simplicity of children's behavior they wish to explore every aspect but act according to their own logic now let us understand through this video first summary of this Listen. A gift of jumpers. This story narrates how a group of children gift a pair of jumpers to a person in need. Mridu lived with her grandmother Tapi and her grandfather Tatha in Chennai. One afternoon. Tapi and Ridu went to Aunt Rukumani's house. Ridu was eager to meet her cousins Lalli, Ravi and Meena. When they reached, Ridu took off her slippers and placed them near a pair of large black ones. Her cousins took her to the backyard and showed her a small kitten sitting inside a torn football and lapping up milk. Meena informed Ridu that the kitten's presence must be kept secret otherwise their grandmother would be angry and leave the house ravi told her that he had sneaked out the milk for the kitten he also told that they had named the kitten mahendra ravi tried to convince bridu that the kitten was a descendant of the mahabalipuram rishi cat and the egyptian cat goddess Bastard. Meanwhile, Lalli's music teacher was teaching her to play the violin. The kitten and the children shuddered as Lalli's violin screeched noisily. They crept to the window to watch. Mridu noticed that the teacher was almost bald. He wore a diamond ring and a gold chain. Just then, a beggar came and sat in the garden. and began asking for food when ravi asked him to leave the beggar said that it was very hot outside and his feet were blistered from walking on the hot street the children felt sorry for the beggar and decided to give him an old pair of chappals after searching a little they spotted the big black bear lying next to ridu's slippers they gave it to the beggar the overjoyed beggar went away wearing the chappals when the music teacher finished the day's lesson he came out and began looking for his chappals rukumani guessed that the children had something to do with the missing chappals she was upset and angry mridu confessed that they had given the chappals to the beggar she brought out gopu mama's new pair of chappals and gave them to the music teacher after the music teacher had gone she laughed when she remembered that gopu mama would look for his chappals as soon as he returned from work she wondered how he would react when he learned that she had given his chappals to the music master so students i hope you understand the whole uh, uh, summary of this chapter now let me tell you one more time the characters of 
the story is and what is the summary this uh, story is divided into two parts part 1 and part 2 so let me tell you let me tell you one summary of part 1 and part 2 so first introduction is that this story is about mischievous and simplicity of children's behavior they wish to explore every aspect but act according to their own logic but act according to own logic they gave a chappal to a beggar and then to a music teacher without hesitations there is no fear in children their senses and their sensitive heart melt easily their sensitive hearts melt easily so now let me tell you first the summary of part 1 then you read the story in your textbook you have to read it thoroughly so the ravi and mina were visited by bidu she left her slipper at the gate with a pair of slipper which is old very old and very ravi then took her to the backyard behind the thick better berry bush berry bush set a kitten in a turn football sipping milk from coconut shell they secretly kept the kitten as it might annoy their grandmother ravi commented on double standards of elders he added that it was difficult for him to manage milk for mahendran the kitten he coconuted a story behind name of the kitten he concocted a story behind name of kitten he told that the kitten is descendant of pallava lion the emblem of pallava dynasty he had seen at mahabalipuram he further added that is was a descendant of mahabalipuram rishi cat and he kept adding the cats were worshipped in ancient egypt he had admirations of himself during the conversations then they heard a scratching sound of violin played by dalli so <coughs> these are the this is the summary of this first part now read this thoroughly you can better understand and write down the new words in your english notebook and you have to write the question answers in your notebook the part 2 Lali was learning to play violin Lali was played to play violin from her music master who was black handed with an old fashioned tuft he was wearing a gold chain and diamond ring Lali tried to learn notes but her track words were annoying where melodious tunes came out master except hand expert hands the attention from her war river led a beggar was at their doorstep calling from back veranda he spread a cloth to settle himself under a neem tree ravi asked him to find another home for arms beggar pleaded for generosity from a ladies of the house yet decided to move sing stream behavior he requested to allow him to sit until burning heat of sun cooled down as it could hurt is already blisters feet the beggar's feet blister feet seeing a pathetic condition the children decided to provide him slipper they were considered it enough to give them own slipper yet found him to too small so found a sebi looking steady old chappal sang gave 
those to him he was obliged and moved actually those were sleeper of the music master and children were give to beggar to the surprise when music master came out and search for his chapel he called lalli to help him find out his sleeper rukmini and lalli were embarrassed and look around suspiciously the mother inquired from children if anyone around the veranda she got angry when she learned about sleeper were given away to the beggar they confronted by the argument of exclaimed sacrifice of karma who gave his precious belongings mother rebuked to them by saying that they give away what was his own she hurriedly went inside to bring golu mama slippers whose golu mama slippers the teachers gave disapproving look at the children everyone knew as that would be a temporary relief to the problem as golu mama would disapprove their act too so now you have to read part 2 thoroughly from your textbook and write down the new words here you can see the music teachers look out suppose to ask in your exam you have to explain it very well how was looking music teachers The story was written by Vasanta Surya from Rudu in Madras. Puru Gacha Turnups. Thank you.